scientific notation and specifically in this video I'm going to look at exponents and kind of a shortcut for dealing with numbers that are in scientific notation uh, when you're looking at their exponents. So we can add or subtract numbers in scientific notation pretty easily uh, but only if they have the same base and exponent. In this way we can combine like terms. So let me start off with two examples here and here I'm going to write each number in scientific notation. And the easiest way to do that is really just to count the spaces that we are moving this decimal. So instead of saying 0 0.00000786, it would be easier to write this in scientific notation. And I do that just by spacing out the decimal. So I'm going to move this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, moving the seven decimal places to the right. So this is going to equal 7.86, which you can see is an easier number than this times 10 and we went seven places to the right so there's going to be a seven in the exponent and when we go to the right it is negative when we go to the left it's positive uh, which is kind of reverse of what you would think but that's how this works this is how scientific notation works let's try another one so 3940 this is an easier number of course than number one um, but I can still, I have an invisible decimal point right there, and I can still move this one, two, three places to the left. So instead I'll have 3.94, and I'm not writing the zero, I don't have to write the zero, it's invisible, times 10, and we went three places. So here we went three places to the left, which is going to be a, a positive three. Okay, so I went over that so that I can show you how it's it's much easier to find the sum or difference of an expression uh, when I'm using scientific notation. But the trick is they have to have the same base, 10, we're using base 10, and they have to have the same exponent in order to combine those like terms. So what I mean by that is this is 4.2 times 10 to the negative 2. So if I can express this number with the same base, base 10, and the same exponent, then I can just subtract those easily. I can combine those like terms. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do with this 0 0.085 is I'm just going to move the decimal one, two places to the right. And that way I can write this as 8.5 um, times 10 to the negative two. And now you notice these are both the same base, 10, 10, and they're the same exponent, negative two, negative two. So that's going to make this easier when I go to subtract these. All right, so I'm just bringing that down from the top. So when I subtract these, um, again, it's kind of like combining like terms. All I really have to subtract are the actual number, 8.5 and 4.2. All right, so when I subtract these, um, 8 minus 4 is 4. Uh, bring down the decimal. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. And the base and the exponent would stay the same. So times 10 to the negative 2. So these are just staying the same. Uh, that's why I'm saying it's combined like terms because it's pretty much the same concept as combined like terms. Let's try a harder one. All right, so this one a little trickier. I'm still going to find the sum or difference of the expression. Um, and what I want to do is make this number the same scientific notation as this number. I want to express this in terms of 10 to the negative 4. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to move this decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 places to the right, which means I can rewrite this as 7,644 times 10 to the negative four. Remember when we go to the right, it's negative. When we go to the left, it's positive. And I'm just gonna bring down this, so minus 4.2 times 10 to the negative four. So this one's a little bit trickier. I'm subtracting from 7,644, I'm subtracting 4.2. All right, so 
7,644 minus 4 is 7,640. Uh, but I'm also subtracting that point 2. So it's going to look like this. Subtracting that point 2 is going to leave me with point 8. All right. So a little bit trickier there just because we're dealing with uh, some stranger numbers, 7,644 minus 4.2 is going to give us this. Um, and then just bring down the same base, 10, and bring down that exponent, negative 4. Okay, multiply or divide and express the value in scientific notation. So this is going to be a little bit different with adding or subtracting. We can only combine like terms, so they have to have the same base and the same exponent. But when we multiply or divide uh, numbers or expressions with the same base, as long as they have the same base, uh, it's, it's easier to deal with the exponents. When we multiply, we add the exponents. Or if we're dividing, we subtract the exponents. Um, so with this, I'm going to start by multiplying 7.8 and 1.0. So 7.8 times 1 is just 7.8. All right, and then looking at this part, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth, when I multiply numbers with the same base, here base 10, base 10, all I have to do is add the exponents. So the exponent of three, the exponent of four, adding those is gonna give me seven. All right, this one a little different. So here I'm dividing, I'm gonna divide these and then express the value in scientific notation. So this one, let's start by making this top number uh, scientific notation. So we're going to move the decimal one, two, three, four places to the right. Okay, and that's going to give me 6.5. Uh, remember when we go to the right, it's going to be negative. So 6.5 times 10 to the negative fourth on the top. And the one on the bottom, I'll just bring that over. So I'm going to divide 5 times 10 to the negative 2. Okay, so let's start by dividing these numbers. 6.5 divided by 5. I, I can't do that in my head, uh, but if I do that on my calculator, 6.5 divided by 5, I get 1.3. Okay, but the other part I can do in my head, here I'm dividing these like bases, base 10, base 10. So when I divide these bases, all I'm doing is subtracting the exponents, negative 4 and negative 2 are the exponents. Uh, so negative 4 minus minus 2, that double negative is going to be a plus, which just leaves me with negative 2. 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2.